could happen under under an umbrella tree. Sunny days of thunder, your friends are waiting under under the umbrella tree. So come on, everybody, see you up the holiday. There's no better place to be. In your imagination, you'll find an invitation under the umbrella tree. feeling pretty bad, aren't you, Gloria? Uh-huh. It's not fair. I hate having the flu. I can't get up and play. I can't go outside. I don't even feel like having a snack. Oh, having the flu is no fun at all. But usually it doesn't last very long. If you get lots of rest and stay warm and take your medicine, you'll be up and feeling better in no time. I have an idea. Why don't I finish my medicine right now, and then I'll be well again much quicker. Well, it doesn't work that way, Gloria. You can only have a little medicine at a time, just as Dr. Willoughby said. Oh. Too much medicine would be worse than none at all. You're going to have to wait a while until it's time for your next dose. Well, Holly, what can I do to feel better? <laughs> I think all you can do is let the time pass, Gloria. That's all. Unless. Unless what? Well, there is one thing that I do when I'm feeling low. I think about some good time that I've had, and I think about all the little things that happened, uh -huh. and suddenly it's as if I'm living that happy time all over again. It sort of gives me a lift. Do you think it would work for me? Well, it certainly wouldn't hurt to give it a try. Okay, well, I will. Let's see. I want to make the time pass, so that makes me think about... Uh... Clocks! And I'm thinking about a happy time when Jacob was there and Iggy, and so were you. It was the day you made the big cardboard clock down in the basement and taught us how to tell time. I remember it well. Well, I guess it was one of my favorite times because we had lots of fun. <laughs> and we learned something new. <laughs> Thank you. Tick-tock, tick-tock, listen to the clock. The big hand ticks and the little hand talks. The minutes run by while the hours walk. Round and round until it's 12 o'clock. Wow, telling time isn't really hard, is it? It's 12 at night and we're in bed. The stories are told, good nights are said. The moon is high, the stars shine bright. May you dream good dreams tonight. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four. Close your eyes and sleep a little more. Five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight. The breakfast time, so don't be late. Every day, come rain or shine, the mailman rings round nine. Jacob likes to fly at ten. Then comes eleven and twelve again. This is the twelve o'clock daytime, right? Mm -hmm. Twelve at noon in the middle of the day. We're having lunch, hooray, hooray. When lunch is done, we'll go and play and stay out till the sun goes away. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four. Stay outside and play a little more. Five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight. Supper's all done, so put away the plate. Every night, come rain or shine, wash our faces at nine. Everyone's in bed at ten, then comes eleven and twelve again. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, listen to the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, listen to the clock. The big hand ticks and the little hand cocks. The minutes run by while the hours walk. Round and round till it's twelve o'clock. So, did that help? You know something? I think it did. And you know something else? What? I forgot about feeling sick for a few minutes. Good for you, Gloria. Why don't you try it again? Think up another happy time. That's just what I'm going to do. Um... I have one. I'm getting good at this, Holly. <laughs> I'm thinking about the time that you told us how plants and trees grow. Oh, yes, I remember that, too. Mm -hmm. Trees, trees, beautiful trees, with songbirds playing. Imagine how the world would be without trees. I can't imagine a world without trees. Trees, trees, beautiful trees, swinging from the branches, fancy free. And I think that I shall never see anything as lovely.
lonely as a tree. Trees are one of the best things in the whole world. Sitting in the shade, sipping lemonade. Cooling off and having a rest. We could dream about the pictures in the clouds. Or watch, watch the baby, baby birdies fly around their nest. Trees, trees, beautiful trees, with children playing hide and seek. Imagine how the world would be without trees. Don't you agree? Uh -huh. Yeah. Trees, trees, beautiful trees. They're a part of our family, and I think that I shall never see anything as lovely as a tree. You are getting good at this, Gloria. And it must be doing you some good because your temperature seems to be going down and your eyes are definitely a bit brighter. Hiya, yeah. Holly. Hi, Gloria. Are you feeling any better? A little bit better, Jacob. <laughs> Don't get too close to Gloria, Jacob. I like to see all of you sharing things, but please, not the flu. Yeah, okay, Holly. I'll just stand over here away from the germs. <laughs> I brought you some flowers, Gloria. Oh, thank you, Jacob. That was a lovely Welcome. thought, Jacob. Here, I'll put them in water for you, Gloria. Thank you. You look pretty comfortable there, Gloria. What are you doing anyway? Having the flu must be pretty boring. Well, not really, not anymore. Uh, Holly and I have been remembering some favorite times, and it's making me feel a whole lot better. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. neat. Let me try. Um, okay, here. Uh, okay, I'm thinking about the day the letter came telling Holly that she might do the drawings for those children's uh -huh. books. We were all so happy and excited, only Holly, you were a little too excited, and you oh. ended up with the, the hiccups. Hiccup, hiccup, go away. One is fun, but two is too many. I know they'll go, but I wonder when. Oh, no, here comes another one again. Excuse me. You're excused. When I was a little girl, I was happy as could be. But whenever I got excited, something strange came over me. I'd hiccup once, I'd hiccup twice, I could hiccup all day long. But whenever I'd start to hiccup, I'd sing this happy song. Hiccup, hiccup, go away. One is fun, but two is too many. I know they'll go, but I wonder when. Oh no, here comes another one again. Excuse me? Certainly. It's not something that you pick up, like a virus or a cold. It's not something that you dish up, like a tuna casserole. But don't you worry about the hiccups, if they happen now and then. Just before you start to give up, you can sing this song again. Hiccup, hiccup, go away. One is fun, but two too many. I know they'll go, but I wonder when. Oh no, here comes another one again. <laughs> ah, that was fun. What fun? Oh, hi, Hi. Well, when you're sick, remembering is fun. Holly told me that... Then if you think about some of your favorite things, it takes your mind off being sick. Uh -huh. That's a good idea. Works, too. <laughs> hey, how'd you know that's what we were doing? Because Holly taught me to do that when I had my broken leg. I'm pretty good at it, too. Want to hear one of my favorite memories? Okay. I think we're going to anyway. <laughs> it was a very special occasion. I was running for president of the Lizard Club. Gloria was my campaign manager. Uh -huh. Jacob was my assistant campaign manager. The apartment was filled with posters and buttons. Yeah. And best of all, I had a campaign song. Huh. Hi, Steve. Everybody in the land wants to come and shake my hand. Seems that I've got something hot that nobody else has got. Everybody thinks I'm swell. I just smile and go, oh, well. If you say so, then I guess I'm the best. Help me out here, Gloria. When he's walking down the street with his bow tie nice and neat, he never seems to put on airs like some fancy millionaire. He just tries to look sincere, but of course you're right, my dear. I can't keep it to my 
myself. I'm the best. Thank you, Gloria. You're welcome. I'm nice to everybody that I meet. Very nice. I never make promises I can't keep. Never ever. I do my chores and tidy up when I eat. Which is often. I never make a fuss when it's time to sleep. And now everyone listen, here he is again. If you see me walking by with my head up in the sky, I'm just happy to be me. It's my favorite way to be. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Any way you cut the cake, I'm the real thing, not a fake. Tell the world for goodness sake, I'm the best. He is. Great song, huh? That was a special time, Ig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. a smart idea, Holly, using your imagination to get you through a bad day. Mm -hmm. Well, an imagination is a powerful thing, Iggy. You can use it to help yourself as well as just to have fun. I do it often. Well, what are some of the things that you like to think about when you need cheering up, Holly? Oh, let's see. There are lots of choices. Uh... <laughs> What's so funny, Holly? Well... I'm thinking of the time I looked after the family shoe store for Mr. and Mrs. Chickadee. Oh. Huh? I remember. <laughs> yeah, we all ended up with new shoes. We did indeed, but for me, the best part was hearing Mr. and Mrs. Chickadee talk about the shoe business. <laughs> now that was an experience. Birds have a hard time getting the right size. Chickadee shoes, chickadee shoes, step right in just chicken shoes. If you're a lizard or a gopher or a blue jay or a fan, a chickadee shoes, you're never in a pen. And rabbit feet running shoes. And snakes love slippers with stripes and zippers. Who knows why? Haven't got a clue. Dogs like tap shoes, like crab tap shoes. Cows want cowboy boots. A beaver seed work boots. Ducks like rubber boots. And penguins like slippers with their Sunday suits. Chickadee shoes, chickadee shoes. Chickadee shoes. Step right, right in, in just chick and shoes. If you're a lizard or a gopher or a blue jay or a fish, a chickadee shoes, you're never in a fish. Shoes, shoes, everywhere shoes in reds and yellow and blue. Shoes, shoes, here and there shoes. No shoes, clogs and galoshes to prove. We got snap on, strap on, lace up, buckle up, high heels, low heels, flats. Up tails, butt tails, every which way around and everything else. I remember that day. Yeah. Oh, it makes me think about the time Chelsea Chickadee came over to our apartment. Yeah, remember the time Uncle Rod Iguana came to visit with his cactus? Yeah. A and when Jacob gave the migration party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when Gloria and I wallpapered her burrow? And Holly learned how to play hockey? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm remembering something very important. Oh, something good? Something fun? Something to do with eating? You're close, Iggy. It's time for Gloria to have her next dose of medicine. Mm. It is? Already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just a little while ago, I thought the time would never get here. <laughs> well, you just had to find the right way to make the time pass. Now, mm -hmm. let's get this medicine into you, Gloria. Don't spill it, Holly. Yeah, open up, Gloria. Yeah, open up the hanger, because here comes the helicopter. <laughs> oh, Iggy, you're so funny. Oh, okay, <laughs> no, Gloria, you don't have to worry. It's nice raspberry flavor. Good for you, Gloria. Yes, yeah, you're getting a bit of color in your cheeks. You'll be better in no time. You'll be up and around. We can still play the remembering game.